Wait, what? I thought NIS America was done with the PlayStation Vita. I'm gonna tell everybody! Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am and once again I'm coming at you with another exciting video. Got some more super catch fragilistic exciting news for all you guys. Uh, sorry, that was my old school Disney fanboy coming out. But it is super exciting though, I can guarantee you that. Now I'm going to say a phrase here that I honestly thought I would never be saying, at least not lately anyway. Okay, okay, here it goes. NIS America is not done with the PlayStation Vita. Yes, let me say that one more time. NIS America is not done with the PlayStation Vita. Whew, it's surprising even hearing it the second time, even from my own mouth. But it's true though, they have three final physical releases that are coming March of 2019. And that being the games you see right here on the screen. And uh, the thumbnail made that a little anticlimactic, didn't it? Ah, doesn't this picture just fill you with joy? Doesn't it just fill you up with happiness? The Lost Child, Penny Punching Princess, and The Longest 5 Minutes get physical PS Vita releases in March 2019. NIS America has announced that all three of these games will be available on the PlayStation Vita on March 19th, 2019 in North America for a physical release. As the final PS Vita titles physically published by NIS America, they will be available through retailers for $29.99 USD each. Yes, you guys actually heard that right. Can you believe it? These are going to be retail release games. What? What? Say what? A physical PlayStation Vita game that's actually not limited? Well, not sort of, anyway. NIS America did specify that these games will be released in limited quantities, at least compared to a normal retail release, but they're still retail, so that's a good thing. Plus, The Lost Child is also getting a limited edition exclusively via NIS America's online store for $49.99 USD. Unfortunately, at the time at least that I made this video, they sold out like in the first day, and I'm not 100% sure if they're going to be getting any restocks again. At the time I'm making this, they're sold out, but things might have changed since then, so I will definitely leave a link down in the description below if you guys just want to kind of stalk the website a little bit. Ah yes, stalking websites brings me back to my high school days, back in the times where I would actually be stalking LiveJournal. Yeah, that's a dark road we don't want to go down anymore. Now you guys might have noticed that this is all in US currency. As far as I know, these games are going to be exclusively physical to North America. So any of you guys over in Europe, you may want to import these as soon as you can. Now I have heard that things are being discussed, but I can't confirm anything for 100%, so just thought I'd throw that out there. Because, and don't quote me on this, this is just my personal opinion here, these three games, they're coming out March 19th, that's extremely close to Sony's deadline for physical copies over in the West. And because of that, these games right here that you're looking at, these three games, see them right here guys? Sorry, I guess I was trying to make that overly dramatic. Yep. These three games might just be the final Western release physical Vita games that we ever receive here in the West. Again, don't quote me on that, not 100% sure what's going on with limited run games and the like, but we could be seeing Vita history here in the making. Oh, I got goosebumps just saying that. So guys, wow, this is huge. What do you think about this? Are you going to be picking up any of these three physical releases come March 2019, huh? I definitely know I'm going to be standing in line. Oh wait, they're probably not going to do a midnight release for any of these, right? Ah, they should though. They definitely should. So let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time.